Hey guys, what's up? Pickle Loves MC here today, and I will be showing you some things to do when you are bored in Minecraft. I legitimately filmed this video while I was bored in Minecraft, and I wasn't bored by the end of filming it. So I hope it works for you as well. This first thing I will be showing you, I've got a few different blocks to show you how, but it's going to be diagonal blocks, which is quite interesting. But I've seen it on another video and it looks really cool and I figured out how to do it so I thought I'd show you. So you place stairs back to back and then if you surround them by water. I saw it in an ocean on the thumbnail of the video and I figured out how to build them after watching the video. So if I surround these with water they look more diagonal because it's harder to see the sides. And if you fly up they look really diagonal. But moving on to the next thing is the mini biome. I got obsessed with these for ages. I made what are they called? I made the warped forest and crimson forest nether biomes with the nether fortress connecting them. I think I did I think I did a birch forest because that was the easiest. But this one today is going to be one of the easiest I think to master. It's got one of the structures in the biome as well. It's very fun to build. It's the desert mini biome. Also a little bit later, after I've built this, I'm going to be showing you how to build a mini desert temple. The only annoying thing about building mini desert biomes is getting the stairs to sit right. Which takes forever. And there are a lot of t sped up bits in this video because it was half an hour of recording. So this is the mini desert temple I was talking to you about. And it's quite easy to build and you get the little turrets on the side that it has. It's not the best but I mean it looks pretty cool. And you can jump across the posts if you can actually do it. So now I'm going to be building another thing. Also a bit later in the video I have been experimenting with the sniffers. Which is great. So I'm building a maze right now. And you can make it bigger than the one I've built. Because this was just a mini one to show you. And if you want to you can build it out of leaves. But you'll have to place it on them wood blocks first because I think leaves might disappear on survival if you don't have them placed on a wood block. But you can do it to confuse your friends. You can add a roof to it and add no light so they can barely see in it. You can do a ton of really cool and amazing stuff. You can get them lost for years in, in the maze. I gotta admit that's really cool. I really enjoy building it. I really it was just really fun to make, if that makes sense, because it didn't have to look great from above. It just has to be confusing for your friends. I'm going through as your friend that they're being really confused. What? I definitely thought that was the way out. No, nope, not that way. Try this way. Oh I'm out now, yay! But if you make it bigger they'll think they're out and then they aren't. And then you can build it out of tons of different blocks. I just used oak planks because they were easy to grab, just to show you. But if you you can use lots of different blocks while you're making this, if you want to make it look nice. So as I said earlier, you can use leaves, or you can use stone bricks on the bottom. And then you could use you could use lots of different blocks put on top of them, or you could use like oak logs or planks. If, that's what they're called and it'd look a bit like that now I will be showing you something 
health that's really cool. The sniffers. I love them. This was my first time encountering a sniffer in Minecraft. I haven't experimented with them before, but I'm experimenting with them today. And I'm building a sniffer stable. I'm doing a similar thing of blocks that you could use for the maze. But don't forget to give them a little pen outside, because otherwise they were a real animal like horses in real life if they were in real life you'd, they'd need an exercise outside so you want to make it realistic Prob just add a paddock outside yeah so building this alone took at least 14 minutes I think which is why it's so fast But I'd name the sniffers at the end, don't worry. It's also a bit like a mini house. You could build a matching house for you that matches your sniffers house when they finally come out in the non-experimental versions. And, you, and I know this is from a few updates ago, but you could use like glow berries and moss inside to make them feel a bit more at home. And so yes, I've named them Sniffy, Snaffy, Snaffy, Snuffy, Toffy, Snaffy, Taffy, and Snuffy. Gonna get, I'm gonna get Sniffy in. I know Sniffy is not the best name, but I like it, so I'm calling him Sniffy. Deal with it. And so I've got an naming them all. And I've foam mailed the ground so it looks a bit more wildlife like. And some glowberries for them because I think it looks really nice. And this is what it looks like from the fall. And then while you're going through the maze you can, you, you can trust that your sniffers are in a nice stable and they won't get out. Well, I need to name I need to name the house or oh, staple first though. I will call it put it right there. The vowel sniffers. Just take a moment to bask in the glory of in the glory of sniffers. Because sniffers are adorable. And I maybe I might be really wrong here, but I think that the first Minecraft mob to have six legs. Could be really wrong. And I know spiders oh, wait. Yeah, spiders should have eight legs. I've never counted, I just presumed. But sniffers are the only ones to have six legs, I think. Moving on to this one, we're doing a clutch tower. Put it as high as you want, but I'm going to go as high as so that I will die from the, in survival from the point of the height. You can also go to the height limit, to the very bottom. Sometimes, and then you get the achievement caves and cliffs. So I've got a boat, a boat and a water bucket to do a clutch with. Not great at doing clutches, but we'll see how it goes. There's only one more thing after this thing to do in Minecraft on your board after this building. So please stick around to the end. So I'm going to set myself to survival and I'm going to do the bucket clutch, see if it's possible. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm 
nothing happened. I totally did not just die. Everything's fine. Try this again. I mean, for the first time. Yay! We did it on the definite first time. And now for the boat clutch. So this was in act the actual first time, and the other one, it did only take two attempts. But let's just forget about that first attempt where, you know, I died. Never happened. I don't know, I keep going through my maze, I just think it's really cool. And now just set myself to creative. I think using slash game mode is easier than going into settings and all over again. So now we're going to be building a door trap. And I know, you might be thinking, Higgle, door traps were so at the start of Minecraft. But we've got iron doors now. You can, well I'm building it up to be like a, a door trap at the start of a safe. And sure, it is escapable, but I mean, if they're not expecting it, we'll delay them for a little bit. I'll just build the walls here, though. I won't show you the safe when it's finished, because that's not on the list today. And so, yeah, you can build it like that. And they will be trapped, or at least delayed from stealing your stuff. And if you're very good with redstone, you can do it so that you, I don't know, Somehow set it up so that it alerts you by doing a bell. But please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.